NASA's Genesis and Rapid Intensification Processes Mission, or GRIP, will study how hurricanes form and intensify from August 15th through September 30th. GRIP involves several NASA satellites and three NASA aircraft devoted to Earth science research. Scientists will use the data to better understand how these storms form and how they strengthen, weaken, and die. I see the tremendous potential that GRIP has to offer in, in terms of the ability to answer some of these long standing questions we've had about how storms form and why they intensify. GRIP will be a very exciting field experiment. It's the first time we've had so many different aircraft with so many new sensors studying the development and intensification of tropical systems, tropical waves, and how they become hurricanes. These new tools will help us understand the science much better than we've ever been able to do before. The NASA aircraft DC-8 and the WB-57 will help us make traditional measurements, but the involvement of the Global Hawk and two of its satellite quality instruments is a game changer. These two microwave instruments will allow us to see what is happening below cloud deck, and the endurance of the aircraft will allow us to get an unprecedented, sustained look of the inner workings of these storms. Reason and that when we, this peels off, what's the pressurization going to be like? goes to show there really wasn't much safety zone around here at all once it, once the dikes broke. 